Hello and thank you for tuning in to my uh, tutorial on the holding period yield or HPY. Uh, it can also be referred to as the holding period return and for this tutorial and template I'm going to be focusing on bonds. So in the description below there will be a download link to this interactive uh, template where you can uh, punch in the figures for yourself and I've got some instructions here for you to follow. Uh, it's quite straightforward just as long as you're uh, inputting values in the grey cells it's pretty easy to follow. But if you hang around, I'm going to run you through a, uh, a quick example and explain it a bit more. So the point of the holding period yield is that it gives you the annualized return of a bond sold before maturity. And it factors things in like the uh, reinvestment rate on, uh, on a coupon that you might receive in the interim before you sell the asset. Uh, so it does show uh, the sensitivity of those sort of investment rates. So... There's quite a few things we need to look at here. Now we do need a uh, original bond purchase price. Now I've included my bond price calculator in this spreadsheet and I've also made a tutorial on this before so I'll link that down in the description below as well if you need uh, to calculate the bond prices. But I'm going to jump across the question I've got here for us to work through. So it's uh, essentially today you buy a 10% 5 year government bond for 92.64 yielding 12%, uh, your reinvestment rate on those coupons is 10%. Now we have to find the holding period yield if it is sold after three years at a yield of 8% with a face value of $100. So everything we've got there, that's all the information we need to, uh, to fill this out. So we know our uh, face value was $100 our original bond purchase price. Now this isn't always given, you may need to calculate that yourself, but you can use the calculator here uh, to do that. Uh, years to maturity at purchase, we know it was five years. The coupon rate was 10%. Now this is important here, uh, we need to select the coupon frequency. So for this particular one, uh, it's paid biannually and uh, most bonds pay coupons biannually. So we'll select that option, or biannually, semi-annually, whatever you prefer, um, twice a year basically. And please don't uh, don't delete this cell because it will screw with the whole uh, formula. Just select an option from the drop-down menu. Uh, now our reinvestment rate was 10%. So all the coupons we receive are reinvested at a rate of 10%. And then once we've sold this bond three years on, we sold it at a yield of uh, 8%. And then when we sold it, there were still two more years to run, two more years to maturity at sale. So we do need to calculate a few different components. Obviously what we originally paid for it and the coupon rate. And then when we sell the bond uh, years later, we need to know the yield and how much time's left to maturity. Of the bond. So once you've filled out all these grey cells here, Excel does the rest of the work for you and this is the result you're after. So holding period, you held this bond for three years and your annualized return on the bond is 13.64% per annum. So remember that's an annualized rate over three years. So you can have a fiddle around with it, see how things like the reinvestment rate uh, will change uh, your return. So you can see if you can reinvest coupons at 12%, your holding period yield is uh, slightly higher. And vice versa, if you go down to 8%, 7%, fiddle around with it a bit, put your own figures in. Uh, it's a good way to test the sensitivity of reinvestment rates with your uh, with your return. So thank you for watching. Please don't forget the links down in the description. I've got the uh, bond price uh, tutorial as well as a link to uh, this spreadsheet here for you to play around with. So thank you all for watching.